This is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Today, we're going to be looking at the First Order Stormtrooper one half scale resin bust. What really got me about this was the base. It's all about that base. Ha ha ha. But the base, which we cannot see here, is really the turning point we've seen lately for Gentle Giant and Diamond Select Studios. This is a Legends and 3Ds bust. We're going to open them up, see how good he looks. We're going to do some size comparisons. I'm really interested in this one. I, I'm. It's tough to say you're you're a you know a fan of the new look of the Stormtrooper, but there is something about it that's just so cold and calculating and incredible. Let's take a look, see what it looks like in our hands. All right, one of the main things I like to do is I like to take it and show you how it comes packaged, especially inside. With shipping the way it is, the post office not being the best, and then there's FedEx and UPS. Everybody's, you know, the, the quality of how things arrive are different. So I kind of wanted to show you what's inside the package instead of just having it out. So as we took off the styrofoam here, you can see that it's face down. It's bagged. And we do have, of course, our letter of authenticity, the postcard. We have 768 of 1,000. It said that on the box. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you, but it did, did say that on the box. And so this is a relatively new release. Let's see if there's anything new in here. So we've done Kane and Jarrus. We've done the Death Watch Trooper. And I'd like to do Wrecker and Biggs. But these new statues of the Stormtrooper and of Obi-Wan have yet to come across our review table. And there it is, the Stormtrooper. Now, we have done the TIE Fighter, which was incredible. TIE Fighter pilot. But here's that base again. Very much what I wanted to see in person. So, this is, I love booklets that come with Star Wars stuff. It's just so cool. Uh, so, we're going to take them out here. Very heavy. Very heavy. And I'll set them to the side. So, the one thing that I wanted to talk about was, this does not say uh, the Force Awakens, I believe, anywhere. It says that he appears in the first Force, uh, Force Awakens, but it didn't say yet. Yeah, this is specifically from the Force Awakens. And the reason why I bring that up is because Ryan Johnson, love him or hate him, asked if he could change one thing on the Stormtrooper armor, and that was to give teeth marks, almost like, like little Jaws teeth marks here, and to make them more... Uh, recognizable on camera. It was the one thing he asked J.J. Abrams that he could change uh, about the design. But this is a very heavy piece. And what we can see here from the bottom is it it's the back of the Stormtrooper or almost a blaster. It's very... It, it fits with the whole motif of it, but you're not exactly sure. Am I looking at a gun? Am I looking at the backpack? Am I looking at pieces of belt? That's what I seemed really... That's what I enjoy about it. It fits perfectly, but yet it's not identifiable. The Boba Fett... Um, at, uh, at Empire Strikes Back when we just reviewed this was clearly Slave 1 but this is a little bit different and I love that it's completely white on the bottom there it is again 768 of 1000 but this is a nice piece here like, look how identifiable that is it really pops like you put it on the shelf and we're going to put it down there and it give you some scale here is a Black Series um, First Order Trooper it really sets off the height of it and then we'll give it a little pan back a little pan back here and just kind of show you that from the bottom to the top it's just under 10 inches so it's a nice piece it's really going to stand out in your collection there's so much that we have that's like earth tones in the house um and just kind of all blends together but this white piece is really going to pop up stay star wars and really just be a distinguishable piece in your collection. I love, see, there's things that you can't see on camera, like these clips here on the helmet, here, here, and here. You look at it so quickly. I think that's just a little blend. Yep, came right off. But this is a piece that you're definitely going to have to make sure uh, that you keep out of the sun. I could just see this one over time turning yellow. Um, I don't know why. And I'm not saying that's something that, that I've had in the past with, with uh, Diamond Select or Gentle Giant. It's just... It's so white, and so much of our Star Wars stuff has yellowed over the time. Over time, but there is a uh, a First Order trooper that has the you know the arm pad here over you know on the side. Um, but I really do like just how cold calculating this is. And I remember when this first image had surfaced online of the new stormtrooper. It was so cool, and you're like, God, it, that looks like it could almost be real. And then later, it was verified that it was. Or when this guy first appeared as the uh, Comic Con exclusive the year before the movie came. Oh, not the year before the movie came out. A few months before the movie came out. So, really, just look at this. That's the blaster right there. See, that's what's so cool. You just keep looking at different little pieces of this. 
it's, this is, I do not, and I've said this numerous times, I do not the most balanced surface in the world, but look at that. It just works itself out. This is Bob from Total Tree Recon thanking Diamond Select for sending out the first order trooper. He is, it's, it's a cool piece. I, I may actually like this one more than Boba Fett. Um, just because of how, how sleek it is. Boba Fett has a lot of little details and you can really lose yourself into finding one detail to the next. But this one is, is cold. It's calculating. It's everything that a stormtrooper is supposed to be. You know, no, no fluff, just precision. It's nice. I wish they shot that way. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with another review real soon.